All right, this shoe arrived yesterday. It's from Bohempia. It's hemp shoes. I wanted some blue shoes and they deliver on color right away. This is a brilliant color. It's kind of like the old, well, still available, Keds plimsolls. Uh, it's a good classic look. These are so wide. Um, like maybe even wider than Belinka. They are just so wide. They're, uh, let me take this out. So they're extremely flexible. This is with the insole in. You can just bend it right up. Uh, I, I just looked at these and I was like, yay. And then we run into my typical problem of a volume issue. And unlike the Belinka, it's not the whole shoe. It's literally just one part. So I just want to get this out of the way so then I can just gush over the shoe some more. Even though I can't keep it. Right here where this line is, it's actually kind of thick. And I suspect that's something to do with hemp and how it has to be constructed. So right here on my bigger foot, just... It just pushes a little, a little bit, just a little bit. If you have a medium height foot or a low volume foot, <laughs> be fun. You can love these shoes and wear them and just be very happy. If you have a high volume foot, sorry, I feel your pain. Uh, you have to really consider whether this shoe would work for you. Uh, and I hate to say that because I really, really wanted this shoe to work for me. If you look here, this is the insole. Let's see if I can measure one handed. This is the 43. Just the insole measures four and a quarter. And in my experience, every shoe has more width capacity than just the insole shows. My foot's four and a quarter. My foot in the shoe there's actually a little bit of extra room my shoe my foot was like right here i've literally just tried these on inside i'm gonna have to return them because it pushes down there and it's just doesn't work for my foot but i would really really recommend this shoe for others based on just the initial impressions don't be like you know thinking i wore it around town because i didn't because i couldn't uh, I even took the insoles out, still pushed in the same spot. I was hoping that at the least I could maybe wear some Nabusu insoles in it. No. They have, I think, either eight or nine different colors in this shoe. Very vibrant colors. They have white soles, gum soles, black soles. They're also looking <coughs> at making some new color combinations. I actually kind of help with that making a poll on Facebook to or polling a group on Facebook to try to see what colors people would want this is actually a European country and they're not all barefoot so there are currently three uh, barefoot models and they've just really expanded to the U.S. with their Bohempia USA website so make sure you can get that go to that I think when you go to it, it'll ask you if you're in the USA, and then you'll see just the USA options. Um, this is the Colda model. There's also the Hoska, which is a little bit more of like a court shoe type look. I really liked it, um, but I didn't need to buy anything in any of the colors they had. I think they only have three colors in Hoska. Colda had like eight or nine, and they also have a slip-on called, I want to say, Vicla. Make sure, though, for each of those that you're looking at the barefoot, uh, a barefoot shoe, it will tell you on there. Um, this is the only one that was listed as coming in wide. All of them are wide anyway, but this one actually has both a non-wide and a wide version. And the wide is beautifully, wonderfully wide. So if you've got big, wide feet, even if you've got low, wide feet, <laughs> uh this is a really good option for you. It looks great. Um, I had a thought. Uh, <laughs> I 
yeah so anyway the bottom of it uh has this it's got a good tread on it you're not going to be slipping and sliding um the i was going to bring i actually have a little new little toy i want to i guess this is probably hemp too and actually the insole uh the midsole wasn't that uncomfortable um like in the easy like i really i can't do the easy and i'll make a separate video about that but it's just me i could have walked around i think on this midsole and been fine uh if my foot was just a little bit lower i just always have problems here and here and most people out there currently talking about shoes don't have high volume feet so i hope that this helps some people know that it's not something that everyone faces it's good to kind of learn your own foot feet find out what works for you i know um on anya's reviews she has a gray model of this she didn't even have to get the wide in her size for it to fit and she loves them it just doesn't you know work right here and i wish it did so anyway if you're looking <coughs> for a lot of color they can deliver them about like pink and like a burgundy red and gray cream i think in the slip on they have pink you know this is a great place to get color i think it's really well made this is not painfully stiff this hemp i think if you have the right volume feet you could just put these on and walk and go and have fun again i was only able to even just try them on in the house and i will have to send them back but from my impressions i think that this is an excellent barefoot shoe and i hope somebody you know i hope lots of people will enjoy it because i want there to be lots and lots of barefoot companies different materials different sizes and widths and just really expand the market and i'm glad that they have come here and are adding you know more options to us uh, it even it ships from the us um so you get it quickly as well you're not waiting on a european uh, europeans really got it going on when it comes to barefoot shoes but i um i want it to be everywhere so enjoy <laughs>